friends. So today I'm going to take you on a journey of what I eat in a day and I'm excited because today I get to work from home and I love days like that where I don't have to leave the house at all. I'm a huge introvert and I love it. So I'm feeling good about today because I actually finally had some time this weekend to prepare for the week, get the house ready, clean up a bit, get groceries. <laughs> Usually I'm playing gigs on the weekends and don't really have time to do that. So it feels good to be ready for the week. So this morning I had a little snack of some peanut butter on toast. Usually I'll put some bananas on top, but those bananas were not ready to be eaten yet. If they don't have a little bit of spots on them, I don't want them. So I don't like to eat a ton before I work out. I had some herbal coffee with a little shot of espresso in it. Put some soy milk in that. Now I'm gonna go uh, work out a bit. So we actually cleared some space in the basement. So we have all this space now around our weight rack. It feels so good to have all that room. <laughs> And it's the little things like that, just organizing your space, cleaning it up. It feels so good. So now I'm gonna go do a little workout. And then afterward, I'm gonna have like a fuller breakfast. I made some overnight walnut raisin maple oats. And I ended up putting some vanilla plant-based protein powder in it just for after my workout. I also have a green smoothie and I'll eat that after my workout and be fueled up and ready to kick some ass today. eating some of those overnight oats. I added some ground flax seeds to it too. I try to eat ground flax seeds every day. So got that protein powder in there and ground flax, maple syrup, walnuts, tons of raisins, soy milk. I think I like overnight oats better than like warm oatmeal. Like the texture doesn't gross me out as much. I don't know. Mm. All right, now I'm gonna go take a shower and get started uh, working a bit. Today's video is sponsored by the wonderful, cruelty-free, vegan, plant-based, climate-neutral skincare line called Osea. They definitely checked all of my boxes and this is why I love working with them. They sent me this dry brush and I'll be honest, this is my first time ever dry brushing. It helps with exfoliating the skin and blood flow, especially when you always brush in the direction of your heart. I fell in love with this. Then after I dry brush and shower to really seal in some smooth skin, I love to finish off with this Undaria Algae Body Butter. It's full of healthy skin ingredients like nutrient-rich Undaria seaweed, whipped shea butter, and ceramides. This body butter is so creamy and hydrating. This also has an amazing, uplifting scent. I especially love it in the winter when my skin gets super flaky. Here's a shot of my leg before applying the body butter, and here it is after. It makes my skin so smooth and glowy, and it feels so luxurious. If you'd like to get some of this amazing body butter, use the link below and use the code Maria underscore Osea for 10% off your order. Definitely check it out. So I'm feeling a bit snacky. It's almost lunchtime 
So I want to make some hummus. So I finally learned how to make creamy, creamy hummus by following some Middle Eastern recipe developers. I forget exactly who had this trick, but it wasn't me. <laughs> Let's make some hummus because I have some veggies in the fridge that I just got in my grocery pickup and they're not the best. They're not the best veggies. The broccoli's starting to go bad. So to incentivize myself to eat it faster before it goes completely bad, we're gonna make some hummus so that we always have some hummus and cut up veggies in the fridge ready to go. Okay, so first we're going to rinse off some chickpeas and simmer them with some baking soda. So this is what's gonna get the hummus super smooth and super creamy. So you don't need a lot of water to simmer these, just barely enough to cover, and then cook them until most of the water's gone and the chickpeas are easily smashed like that. And then you want to blend the chickpeas first. I accidentally messed this up in the video, but I'm showing you the right way to do it here. So you wanna blend the chickpeas up by themselves first without any without adding anything and then once they're nice and smooth and almost like liquefied and you get that amazing smooth texture then that's when you add the tahini and the salt garlic lemon juice and a little bit of cumin powder I added some more tahini you can also add in olive oil if you want to make this even more creamier I was reading that to make this nice and fluffy you can either use ice water or put some ice cubes in there now this is gonna fluff it up There you go, creamy, creamy hummus. So I'm having this like hamburger helper for lunch. I made a big batch of this last night and this is like one of my favorite recipes. I got this recipe from Mississippi Vegan and I kind of tweak it with whatever I have on hand. But it's basically pasta, Kid I like to add kidney beans to it. I have mushrooms, canned tomato, and then Beyond Burger in there as well as some tofu crumble because I had some tofu crumble from like tacos leftover, so I added that in. So it's got different types of protein, the beans, the Beyond Meat, the tofu. And then it's seasoned with smoked paprika, oregano, cumin, um, salt, pepper, and nutritional yeast. And it's such a comforting meal. And then I had some dairy-free cheese and that I added to it. And it just makes it nice and creamy and so, so freaking good. This is like one of my favorite comfort meals. So what I usually do with lunch is I eat leftovers from dinner. I usually make big batches at dinner and eat that for lunch because, because I usually don't feel like cooking in the middle of the day. A lot of times I'll have hummus in the fridge and cut up veggies. So if it's like a pasta heavy meal where I'm not getting a lot of veggies, I'll just put like veggies on the side, fresh cut veggies on the side with some hummus. So I'm getting more veggies in my diet. I'm me. Mm, this is such a comforting meal. Mm, 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 mm. So I usually like to go for like a short little walk after lunch just to prevent me from like falling asleep <laughs> at midday slump, you know? So I might do that or I might just sit down and read for 20 minutes and then get back to work. So a while later, it's dinner time and I decided to make these poke bowls. They're so good. It's such a delicious way to get in some veggies and just healthy ingredients. So first you wanna just cook up your rice. I love having a rice cooker on hand. I found that at like Goodwill for like five bucks. It's amazing. And then I always like to press my tofu if I want my tofu to be crispy. I have a link below if you wanna check out that tofu press. I love it. And then you just like prepare all of your ingredients that you want in your poke bowl. So I prepared a cucumber salad and I had rice vinegar, sesame oil, maple syrup, and soy sauce. What's this, Mrs. Butterworth? Oh, <laughs> sesame oil. That's not Mrs. Butterworth. No. Nope, definitely not Mrs. Butterworth. <laughs> And I had some carrots on hand, so I shredded those up. They also add a nice, beautiful color to the dish. And then I just prepare the tofu by chopping it up into cubes. And then I season it kind of with the same seasonings as the cucumber salad, the sesame oil, soy sauce, garlic powder, and then to add some texture and crispiness, I add uh, cornstarch. And then I just air fry it for about 20 minutes or 30 minutes, however long it needs to get crispy, really. Shake it halfway through. And then when the tofu's all crispy and delicious, sometimes I like to add like a sauce on top of it, so I added some sweet and sour chili sauce. And that's it. So good, and then you just put it all together. And 
then I decided to top this with a little more of the cucumber salad vinaigrette and I made a spicy mayo by just mixing vegan mayonnaise and sriracha and that's it it's so delicious hope you try it out let me know if you try it out so hot out it's nice to have like this refreshing meal it's so good Whenever I'm traveling, I love eating at poke bowl places because it's like light and refreshing and it doesn't make you feel gross. I love seaweed salad, it just like makes it. And a little while later, I always get a little hankering for a sweet snack before I go to bed. I've been making these just kind of thrown together banana cookies lately and they, they're really good. I never measure. I just kind of eyeball it all. So it's smashed bananas, peanut butter, maple syrup, vanilla, and a flax egg. And then I just eyeball and add oatmeal and flour. And then I add a ton of chocolate chips and raisins. And if it's a little dry, you can add like a little splash of soy milk and that's it. And then just bake them at 350 for like 12 minutes. And they're like the perfect little end of the day sweet snack. And I really like eating these with tea as well. I usually at nighttime, I make like an herbal tea. I had a hibiscus and herbal tea here and then I just went to the couch and watched some Netflix and some of my favorite shows and cuddled with my kitty cat and just kind of relaxed for the end of the night. So I hope you enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day video. I hope it inspired you with some new recipe ideas. I know I like watching videos like this for recipe ideas. And thank you so much to Osea again for sponsoring this video. Let me know if any of you have any questions in the comments below and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks. Bye. All right, Moo, tell everyone goodbye. <laughs> she says, get that light out of my face, lady. Okay, good night.